feel like the legacy of the original line lives with all of us every day. How does it affect you on a daily basis? I mean, just watching that film, I mean, it's just incredible what they've done for women's tennis and women's sports in general. I mean, just hearing all the players come up and say what it means to them. But I think um, not only having that contract signed at that moment, but I think the the nine personalities that you had, I think they just came together at the perfect moment and gelled. I mean, you had Billie Jean King, obviously the star power, Julia Heldman, the, you know, the, the brains and the sophistication and just all those personalities come coming together. But I think all those nine, I think the passion that they showed and the guts that they showed at that moment to be able to take that stand at that moment and, and follow through with it, it's just incredible. To me, the fact that they have not been nominated before. Uh, we had to wait fame. 50 years to this to come to the forefront. It is strange and it shows a lack of education in many fronts. And we know how much Billie Jean sacrificed and achieved uh, throughout her career and throughout her life. But to be honest, I was a big fan of Rosie Casals. <laughs> I thought she was the best, even way back then before I played tennis. I think she was great. And this group of nine women being recognized at the Tennis Hall of Fame this year, late, you know, with a nomination, it's, it's something special. Yeah, and if you want to help them actually get in and get that enshrinement into the Hall of Fame, fans can vote. Uh, for the Tennis yes. Hall of Fame too, yes. right? It's a percentage of the final vote. Has, whoever finishes first, second, or third gets a bit of a bonus to get in, so every little bit helps. All right.